Hey guys, so I'm a little bit late on this one, but uh, we're gonna go over basically the update that came out last night in Legends. Uh, no new characters to talk about, but we do have some new banners, new events, new equipment, stuff like that. So we're just gonna go over everything real quick here. Um, the main thing I've been seeing people ask uh, is, would I recommend people summon on this Legends Ultimate Pickup Banner, which is basically the um, the banner that came out yesterday, and it's sort of like the week, uh, the weekly banner here. So. We're going to take a look at this here. Keep in mind, this is only around for like 15 days because it started yesterday and it goes away on the 1st of July. So it's not here for that long. Um, but uh, taking a look at the actual roster, this is a guaranteed sparking banner. So if you do a multi-summon, you're going to get one sparking guaranteed. Um, but in total, the main units you want to look out for here are LF Rosé, LF Kid Boo, and then LF uh, Broly. Um, I think LF Kid Boo is still like one of the better units in the game, like very easily, by the way. Um, at higher stars, but you know, uh, getting at least one copy of him is, is really good. He's one of the most fun units in the game to use as well, right? He's uh, the Vanish rec uh, restoration that he has, like, it, it makes him so fun to use. Um, <clears throat> but other than the Legends of the Unis, we also have, by the way, super videos on here, which, <laughs> you know, a lot of people have been speculating that uh, him also being on the uh, anniversary step ups in addition to him being on here is pretty indicative that he's probably the next in line to get a Zenkai, which I think makes sense. But uh, other than the Legends of the Unis, you have like Demon King Piccolo here. Uh, Red Cell, Jiren, you have Bergamo, you have Green 21. So there's units on here that are good. I mean, uh, like <clears throat> Super Gogeta, obviously, for Zenkai, you have these four down here, right? Um, so there's units on here that are good. Um, and I don't think this banner is bad by any means. I would still say I recommend people summon on the anniversary step up here. I think this banner is still better to summon on because you get the tickets. And um, to me, it's just, it's just a better pool of units, right? Zamasu is the best unit on both these banners, I would say. Um, Gogeta's still really, really good. Kefla's good. This purple Vegito is insanely good. By the way, 1% drop rate for him, whereas on this banner, everything's 0.5% for individual sparking. So again, I think over this banner, I would recommend summoning for this one. But again, it depends on your team and stuff that you want to use. Um, something else to mention as well is if we take a look at the progression of the second year anniversary, the time when we should expect to see new units. Um, so keep in mind the Super Kaioken and PyCon banner last year came out on the 23rd of June, which would line up with next week uh, on uh, the 30th anniversary. So I expect to see new units release next week. So what I would do is I would say don't summon on this banner yet. Wait until next week to see if we get new units and then make a decision at that point if you want to summon on the new unit banner or this banner or even just the old uh, this, this anniversary super banner. So. I would, that's what I would say here. So this banner came out on the 23rd, and then keep in mind we also did end up getting the um, Blue Goku and Vegeta banner on the second anniversary, the 7th. So basically it's going to go next week's new units, the following week after that's probably just a Zenkai, and then the week after that again is another banner with new units on it, if we follow the same formula as the second year anniversary, which to me seems pretty likely. So that's pretty much what we're looking at here. So again, you can make a decision based off of that there. We're getting two new events, so this one is currently available in the game right now. This one is a, uh, I guess, a Vegito Blue event. Um, it's not a 50 stage event, it's a 25 stage event, uh, which I think it gives 500 crystals. And the reason why they did that is because there's a Merge Zamasu event to go along with it. This doesn't come out until the 21st, but this is also a 25 stage event. So instead of doing one 50 stage event, what they did is they split it up into two 25 stage events. Which, I mean, it doesn't really make a difference, right? It's just the same exact amount of content. It's just split among two different events. So it's, you know, just a different, I guess, formula of how they want to get that across to us. But um, I think this is where you get the new equipment, which we'll take a look at later. Yeah, there's, a, there's this. There's a new PvP message. And I believe the same was, is on this one, too. Yeah, new equipment, new PvP message. Uh, there's a new Sparking Super Scout Battle coming out on the 19th. So that's going to be available this weekend. Um, there's Sagos in the movies, which <laughs> looking at the different sparkings that are available from this, I would say probably don't bother with this one. I would recommend everybody do all these stages one time though, just to get the rare metals. And then after that, uh, just focus on the one that you need. But GT has the green uh, Kid Goku, or Kid Goku, GT Goku. Um, the purple Super Saiyan 4 Goku and then the yellow Sin Shenron, which, you know, these two units aren't really that special, but the purple Super Saiyan 4 Goku I would say quite easily is the best unit out of every single unit available from this uh, Sparking Scout battle. Fusion Warrior, we have Gotenks, we have Green Kefla and Yellow Vegito. All three of these units can be good uh, one way or another, like this Gotenks is good for the bench. Kefla is pretty decent still in uh, combat, and then Yellow Vegito is pretty good for bench, and he's okay in combat. So. I would say overall in terms of usability, this is probably the one you want to go for, the Fusion Warrior one, um, because all three of these sparkings are usable in some way. This one up here, I would say 
this purple super saiyan 4 goku is clearly the best unit out of every out of any unit here so it depends on if you want to make use of him if you are using a gt team or using a sun family team or using a saiyan team like probably the answer is probably to one of those things so i mean it's up to you do you want to run and focus on fusions or uh do you want to you know bolster your fusion or your uh, gt or saiyan sun family team so up to you at the end of the day this is going to get you more value but this is going to get you a better unit at the end of the day so that's your decision to make. Then we also have a new raid coming out uh, this weekend, as the past two weekends have uh, had, I believe. Yeah, this is against the Vegito Blue, and then I, I think it's said in the news that the special unit would be the Elves of Asu. So we will see. Yeah, I don't. We'll, we'll see like all this stuff in the in the game when it comes. I'll do another video on that, but yeah. It, oh, this is actually cool. I didn't even realize it told you this. So, yeah, 235% total boost. Actually, LF Rosé and uh, Purple Vegito Blue actually have a big boost as well here. Okay. And look look who it is. <laughs> purple Super Vegito. Also this guy, too. Um, yeah, I would say Zamasu is the best here just because, you know, him being a Saiyan, he's going to ramp up his damage. But, again, we'll take a, take a look at this on the weekend, make a video about it. But I assume it's going to be the same formula as we had for the other two previous raids already. Um, now on to the equipment, we have this one, which is You're Still Not a God. This is for future and powerful opponents, so they have to be on both tags. So it's pretty much just going to be Zamasu and Goku Black, right? And then also Cell, too, I guess. Um, so base strike attack up to 13. We have base critical up to 15, and then 5 to 10% defense against Saiyans. The best slot on this by far is definitely the last one. Defense against Saiyans means it's pure defense, and it's both strike and blast defense. So that's really, really good. Uh, this middle slot's kind of terrible. I don't like base critical at all. Base critical is very, very bad. It's not really a, a time when it's going to be super useful. I mean, crits in this game do hit harder than normal hits, but it's not like it's not going to make a gigantic difference in most cases, um, especially without like being paired up with Bardock or something like that. Then um, this is fine. 13% base drag attack is not the greatest, but uh, this is an okay equip. It's nothing crazy. Then we have you can't even keep up with me, can you? This is for God Key, so yeah. <laughs> 500 million units can use this and it has health so instantly it's good um, up to 10% health is really really nice for god key base key recovery I think is a, actually a pretty underrated um, stat in this game up to 10% it's not crazy high but it's definitely not bad and then we have either blast defense or strike defense up to 15% in the middle this is a solid equipment um, it's nothing pressing in terms of offense but health Bla uh, base defense of one of the two and then base key recovery. I feel like this is a pretty useful equip that I probably will farm two of um, just to have Then we have uh, the last new equipment that's for fusion warriors. So again, you know all the fusion warriors in the game can use this uh, Again base critical. I'm not really a huge fan of this uh, But I, I, there, there is a case to make for that one though because like for instance this guy gets a Zenkai awakening right super Vegito, super Gogeta these guys are on the Super Saiyan team, so you can use them with Bardock, which means that this actually could be pretty good to, to put on them if you want to run them specifically with a Super Saiyan setup with Bardock. Um, blast defense up to 15, and then blast attack to 22. So that's a lot of blast attack. The problem with that is that most of the Fusion Warriors in the game are uh, strike-centric, right? So this guy's strike-centric, this guy's strike-centric, this guy's strike-centric, this guy, this guy. Like, they're, most of the units in the game are strike-centric for Fusion Warriors. Like, Super Judo is, Super Gogeta is. This guy is not. Uh, this is one of the only fusion warriors in the game that is blast centric. So is this blue Gojira who's got a Zenkai. Super 17, you might want to throw this on, maybe. I would probably say there's better options for him specifically, but he would make use of the blast centric equipments too. Um, this EX Super 17 too, this Gotenks. So there's some niche options that could use this one for blast centric fusion warrior, but m again, most of them are strike centric. So maybe I'll farm like one of this and that's it. Then we finally have the uh, Awakened version of this Gogeta equipment, which uh, is quite good. Uh, so it has base strike defense up to 20%, which is high. Special move damage and critical. So this is, all, again, also good if you want to use um, the Gogeta along with Bardock or something like that. And then same thing with this guy too, because this is for just fusion, so fusion dance units. So again, this guy and Super Gogeta, namely the two ones you probably want to use with this equipment um, to get the Bardock uh, buffs going on there. Because at the last slot, you can get either base blast attack, blast defense, or strike attack up to 23%. So for like Super Gogeta, for instance, you'd want to get strike attack in the last slot for him. But for this guy, you want blast attack. So this can turn out really well. It's just going to be a huge pain in the ass to reroll this last slot because you have three different options there. Um, and that is pretty much everything we got in this update. I mean, there are a few missions we can talk about. 
Um, there's this one, which I made a video on. Um, if you guys are interested in knowing what units, I would recommend you pick out with the surprise you ticket. So this is the ticket that they talked about in the live stream where you can choose any single unit that came out um, in 2020 or earlier um, for free and get them for free, a sparking unit. So I made a video talking about which unit I think is the best to pick with that ticket. So if you want to go check that out, I would recommend that video if you're confused or you want to want some advice on that. Um, I mean, very easy missions too, right? <clears throat> I think this is just play like 10 times, use one energy on this event, win three times, KO 10 times. Like this is going to take you like 10 minutes to do this. Like it's very easy. Um, there's this one for the event, just a bunch of crystals you can get. Uh, what else we got? I think the anniversary raid, which is going to be the normal one that we had last week. You actually get tickets here. Did we, did we get that before? Maybe we did. Maybe I wasn't paying attention to that. Um, that, yeah, that's pretty much it. I think we got this yesterday too. Uh, yeah, just some more, some more crystals, some more Hoi Poi, Hoi Poi coins, metals, stuff like that. So. Just make sure you do all these missions. It's very easy. Play PvP three times. Play like co-op ten times. Turn of power. Like it doesn't take that long to do this. So um, that's what we got here. Uh, again, I would expect to see new units, summonable units, come out next week. So again, if you're interested in summoning on this banner, just wait a week, see what kind of units release next week, and then based off of that, you can make a decision whether or not you want to summon on this banner or the new units. So that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next one.